Hi there, Lucila. All right, let's have a look. So, a uh, great start. Uh, by the way, it cannot be denied that crime and education have been contentious issues because we've got two here. So, well done for remembering the first, the plural here, but we need to carry it on. Okay. Um, could even possibly group them together. Crime and education has been a contentious issue, but I think the way you initially did it, plural is safer and more accurate. Over the past few, uh, okay, over the past few years, many people agreed that the most effective way to solve crime, okay, what well, could we, to upgrade our language, what could we say? Many experts, many, um, I don't know, professionals or maybe criminal psychologists. Yep. So when we've got kind of like plain vocabulary, like be, do, good, bad, and people, these um, these words can usually be upgraded for something more accurate, something more uh, topic specific, or um, I'll just upgrade them. Uh, okay. So many people agree that the most effective way to solve crime is through literacy. Beautiful. However, I strongly feel that this system ought to be cautiously monitored and regulated, since those countries with the higher higher rates of insecurity generally do not have the right tools. Okay, with the higher rates of insecurity. What do we mean by insecurity? Crime, criminal activity, uh, lawbreakers. Um, those are the kinds of synonyms we needed. I wouldn't have used insecurity. Um, so that's usually uh, it's the connotation, connotations are sort of like a pers on a personal level. On the one hand, there is ample evidence, great little collocation, that education can lower the rates of criminology. Also, criminology is kind of like the study of crime. So it's, um, yeah, that needs to be modified too. The fundamental reason behind this is that most likely education provides people with a future and encourages them to aim for a better lifestyle. Beautiful. Good. Take Sweden as an example. To decrease crime in the country, they developed an educational program targeted to families with lower incomes. After five years, they successfully demonstrated that literacy provides encouragement to enroll in higher education and job positions. Fantastic. Good. An excellent vocabulary there. As a result, it is conclusively clear, beautiful, that educating societies is substantial in order to prevent delinquency. Wonderful work. Very, very impressed there. It is conclusively clear that education is substantial in order to prevent delinquency. Great. You could say here, just to extend the paragraph, the fundamental right reason behind this is twofold. And then we could have said firstly and secondly. Okay, um, just as a little tip there. On the other hand, although literacy can have a major effect on crime, there are some downsides to it. Firstly, in developing countries, more than 50% of the population live under the poverty line. Therefore, education is not a possibility for them. Okay, just be careful here. Could be, I know I say all the time that it's not a test of intelligence, but um, if 50% of the population live below the poverty line, can it be a developing country? You know, it just seems like a little uh, contradiction there. So maybe just go for, I mean, at the end of the day, though, Lucia, um, this is a language test. So I don't know if that would be, I don't think that would be picked up on, but it's just, um, it's worth bearing in mind. For example, Argentina has countless public schools. Nevertheless, this educational system is already for the education, or their educational, just to be a little bit more accurate. But we could say, nevertheless, this educational system is already flawed since the focus is to feed students rather than educate them because they do not get the proper nutrition in their own houses. Um, okay, we could say proper nutrition at home would have been uh, sufficient. Okay. Um, now, this is what I was saying before, like, sort of like, um, it's a complex idea. Are we going off topic here? You know, we're we going off topic, we're talking about schools, feeding kids, um, better education. Okay, so just double and triple check. Okay, um, so I, I'm guessing here, we're saying, 
can lower the rates of crime. And here, we basically just want to say that literacy, if it's on the other hand, we want to say that it, it doesn't. Okay, so paragraph one, um, education is, helps prevent crime. Paragraph two, education doesn't. Okay, what is more? Those children grew within families which have been functionally and alphabetic, illiterate, I think is the word, for three generations. To put it at its most acute, the government seizes this uneducated community in order to be voted and encourages them to commit crime. Okay, so this is a really, really sort of like long way to prove. Uh, we're going, what's called in English, around the houses. It's like over here, over here, ding, 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 from left to right to left to right. Um, like, I have to read it again, which is not a good sign as to like, what is the argument here? So I'm guessing the government is underfunding the schools so that they doesn't teach them how to be literate and then it can encourage them to and as you can know, to be voted, votado, I don't know. That doesn't make sense, yeah. Okay, an uneducated community. But why would, I still don't get it, why the government would want an uneducated populace, you know? Okay, so it's, it's just a little bit unclear here, which is a shame because of the task response. We really need to be on topic for task response and the, I can see the argument here. Consistent with this line of thinking, since education is not an option or advantageous for many governments, imprisonment must be the only solution. Okay, so ideally, in, I mean, this is a great little phrase here, but ideally, we see that, uh, we, I, we always teach to kind of like answer directly, you know? So it'd be like, therefore, it is conclusively clear, something like you put here, or as a result, it is clear beyond doubt that um, education cannot prevent crime rate or cannot lower crime rates in developing countries or in developed countries or whichever. Okay? I'm sorry, here I, I misread it. I'm sorry. Developing countries more than 50% do. Yeah, developing. I understood it as developed. Sorry about that. Um, However, either way, I do. Um, I would say this is a really, really um, long-winded way to communicate the argument. And as I said before, if we could finish with something that directly answers the question, just to make, just to remind the examiner, we're going to get full points for task response. Okay, so the structure has been improved, but we do need to work on task response, i.e., answering directly the question. To conclude, provided that the education program is properly targeted and is truly focused on educating people in order to provide them a better future, a higher education and honest jobs, there is no reason this should be discouraged. Furthermore, educating societies can be a successful measure to eliminate crime. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, good conclusion here. Um, so overall, I'd probably put this essay at a 6.5 or a 7. Um, it's on that, it's on the line. It's on the line, mainly because of the task response. There were a few vocabulary mistakes as well. Um, but I think the biggest issue here would be the task response. Let's have a look at your next one. Okay, so dear Thompson family, um, I would um, I would just change that. It doesn't seem too right. And it's a good opportunity here just to say, dear, Miss, dear Mr. Thompson, okay, or dear Mrs. Thompson, um, Rather, because we wouldn't usually see, say, dear Thompson family. So I just uh, use creative license to say, dear Mrs. Thompson. Okay, comma, well done. Remember, this should have a small indentation here as well. I hope this letter finds you well. Great start. I'd like to introduce myself. Great start. My name is Lucia Hurtado. I'm 26 years old and I'm an Argentinian English translator student. Excellent. Wonderful start. I like this. Um, I like this opening. It's warm. It's the correct register, and it's what is expected. Especially, I would like to introduce myself. Um, it's ex what is expected. It's the general register for general task one letter writing. You might want to check this. In some cases, in English, we use Argentine as the ad adjective. Um, 
So I had researched that. I cannot remember the rule exactly. Argentine English translator student. Um, since you have had the kindness to invite me to stay over at your house during my English and homestay program, beautiful. I'd like to ask you some. I'd like to ask you f some for some. I'd like to ask you for some information. Obviously, a little typo there. Firstly, I'd like to know if there are any Whole Foods grocery stores nearby. Okay, any stores nearby. Also, capitalization for the proper noun. Okay, it's the brand name. I do not have these kinds of stores in Argentina, and I'd love to shop there. Beautiful. Secondly, capitalization. Be careful. Is there any possibility for us to spend a weekend in Ireland? In for um, countries. Okay. Uh, my mother, and coincidentally, it would be on an island, on a desert island, on uh, the island of Hawaii. Or, yeah, if it's like an island, as in I S L A N D, it's on. But in this case, it's the country, so it's in. My mother comes from an Irish family, and I'd love to learn about my ancestors' culture. Wonderful. Okay. Okay, so we have some questions. We have some essential information. Okay, okay. good, good, good. And, yep, yeah, it looks like we have the scheduled date of arrival, too. So, well done. Lastly, I've made a flight reservation for March 10th. This I'll be arriving to London. In London. Arriving to London. We could say to, to, but in is probably better. Arriving in London on March, capitalization for the months, on March 11th at 12.45 a.m. Good. I can get myself an Uber to your location once I arrive. There's no need for you to pick me up at the airport. Do not want to be a burden. Wonderful. Please do not hesitate me to contact me if you have any. I wouldn't say I wouldn't say doubts. I think this is typical of Spanish speakers, deudas. You know? If you have uh, any... Uh, questions or any concerns yeah uh, so just be careful that's a false friend for tra translation best regards new line and then Lucila okay great work there Lucila I uh, wish you the best of luck um, with this exam and let us know your scars please take care and just one last thing Lucila um, if you have time uh, could you just say why you didn't join the course? Um, I'm just curious, that's all. And I, I won't keep chasing you, chasing you, chasing you. Uh, but if you could just tell us why you didn't join the course and also um, keep us updated with the scores you do get as well. Thank you.